all right my dear friend welcome back to the channel it is a beautiful wednesday afternoon here in southeast asia malaysia to be precise you i believe you are very strong wherever you are it is time for you to sleep you are taking a good sleep right now i understand but by the time you are waking up this is your breakfast news <laughs> your breakfast news yes our coach spoke a lot yesterday regarding the match today and i just want to emphasize on one or two things because today as a match day chelsea match day with crystal palace there's so much we need to talk about yeah before i come up with my team prediction or my team lineup i'll be doing the analysis before then but now it's just about news yeah everything happening around your club and all that the coach has to say yesterday i delivered a video for you if you have not yet watched the coach's video the press conference that he had yesterday the video is right there go back and watch the video listen to me carefully but i still want to give you some excerpts from all that he said during that press conference you are in africa nigeria ghana kenya uganda celery you are highly welcome all over the continent of africa i'm welcoming you in a very special way you are here in asia with me i'm uh, very grateful you are part of this channel in america and europe i am glad you guys are still with me hey we are hitting our 10,000 subscribers very soon by the close of this week we should be hitting our 10,000 and we deserve to celebrate it right yes help me to celebrate it because this week hopefully we are close just about 70 more subscriptions for us to hit 10,000 and i'm so excited because you made it possible continue to share the video like the video send me your comments and please tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe let's hit the subscribe the, the 10,000 before the 31st yeah before the 31st by new year let's celebrate the 10,000 subscribers please all right Quickly, Pochettino, he says some issues. He talked about important issues in that press conference. You could feel the disappointment in his voice when he was speaking. If you ever read psychology, you could see clearly that he himself, he is not really happy about the situation on ground. The job at Chelsea overwhelmed him. He said it. He never expected a job to be so tough. <laughs> he never expected a job to be so tough. He said it very clearly that he, he, he knew the job was going to be difficult, but not as difficult as it is right now. He expected it to be a little, you know, lighter. But right now, it's like overwhelming him. That is Chelsea for you. Don't joke with Chelsea. You don't stay, you know, far from the club and you think it's just easy. Coaches that come and win and they go, they will tell you, Chelsea is a huge club. Now he's been confirming that Chelsea, this is a huge club. It, this is not PSG in France. You can play in France with all the money, but it is a different case when it comes to Chelsea. Yeah. With the, the record of Chelsea right now, any coach that is coming in, don't ever look at Chelsea like any other club. When you come in, you'll be overwhelmed. Exactly so. Pochettino, he said, in football, you need to have the knowledge, the quality, the setup. But at some point in football, in 90 minutes, you need to compete. In 90 minutes, you need to compete. You need to show in the way you play football in 90 minutes. He said, we need to improve there. Where? Playing football for 90 minutes, not giving up. For 90 minutes, we need to improve there. And that's about having all the players fit. Spending time with them together. We need to finish well. Winning the Palace game, then go to Luton on December 30th, and then start the new year with different feelings. I hope this is not just rhetorics. I hope he meant every word that he spoke here. Today, as a match day with Crystal Palace, the visit of Crystal Palace, I hope this is not just a rhetorics. I hope he meant every word. And if he meant every word, then I would like to see it right from the team sheet. I would like to see it right from his team sheet. Listen to him. He, he said a few things again. He said, we are so far away from the target. Our target was to be on the top, even if no one believed us. But in the circumstances, we are fighting for different things. <laughs> we are Chelsea because our history demands us to be at the top. Our history demands that we are at the top. At the moment, being realistic, we need to increase the way that we compete if we want to win more games. We need to compete better than against Wolves. 
I think the performance from the beginning of the season has not been bad. That we all agree. We can say it's very good. It's very good. But in terms of competing, we are in the bottom. The performance is not that it's a very bad performance, but in terms of competing, it's, we are, it's very bad. We are at the bottom because in football, you must score the goals. You don't just play to entertain. You must score the goals. But in terms of competing, we are in the bottom. That's why we are not in a better position in the table. Dear friend, this is our coach speaking at a press conference yesterday. And if you look at our statistics, Chelsea have won 12 matches in a row against Crystal Palace last losing in 2017. The last time Chelsea lost a game against Crystal Palace was in 2017. We, we won 12 matches in a row against Crystal Palace and we are meeting them today. Are we going to see Mauricio Pochettino setting up his team to lose or we are going to be seeing him winning the match tonight? I will be positive. But I will also be very careful with my positivity. Because right now, Chelsea is not a club you can fully trust. Our next game against Luton, if you watch Luton game that they played against Bournemouth, is it Bournemouth? Yeah. You'll be amazed. Is it Bournemouth or Sheffield United? Sorry. Luton's game against Sheffield United, if you watch that game, then you know that even our next game against Luton is not going to be easy. The last game of the season, on the 30th. But today we are facing Crystal Palace. And we know what Crystal Palace can do. Chelsea, are we ready? He continued, Mauricio Pochettino, on being level on point with Wolves and Bournemouth. And how far away you are from the target you've set. He said, so far away. To be honest, our target was to be on top. We are Chelsea. With our history and everything, it demands us to be near the top. But at the moment, we need to be realistic. We need to compete better if we want to win more games. Dear friends, this is our coach speaking. And this is your breakfast. That is why I'm reading it for you this way. For you to know, tonight's game is a game that Chelsea must at all cost. I don't know what else we need to do. But I think the solution lies in the hand of the coach. The way he will set up the team tonight. And one player that I will expect the coach to make use of is who? And Madsen. Pochettino used Madsen as number 10 or winger in half space during preseason. He has to give him a chance today, either in attack or as a left wing back at, in a three at the back system. When we're in preseason, that is how he, he used I. Madsen. He used him as number 10 or as winger in half spaces during preseason. Tonight's game, he must make use of him either at, le at the left wing back, since we have many players in, in, in attack right now. He must he should use him as a left wing back in three at the back system. That is a way to overcome Crystal Palace. Look, I will come with my team sheet later on, but I'm giving you some. <laughs> All right. Porch also delivered news on some players that will not be available. He spoke about Enzo. He says, Enzo Fernandez and Leslie Ogutuku will miss Crystal Palace visit to Chelsea. Yeah. Ugochuku re-injured his hamstring. Only Moise Kasaido may return. Moses is to return for Crystal Palace game. We missed him in the last game against Wolves. But we expect Christopher, uh, Moise Kasaido to return in tonight's game. Before I let you go quickly, Pochettino on Nkuku. He said at the moment he is coming back from injury. His best position is more like a number 10 or number 9. More than the left or right side like a winger. To cope with the demands of the Premier League and what the team needs, it's better in these positions. He's now starting to understand the Premier League. That, that teams are very aggressive and the football is very different to other countries. It's, a, it's good for him. More minutes, you adapt little by little. But scoring will help him adapt quicker. I would have expected Pochettino to start in Kuku tonight. I would have expected him to start him tonight. But the way he sounded yesterday, I'm not, I don't think so. I don't think Nkuku is going to start a game. But honestly speaking, in my team lineup, I will put Nkuku because I'm hoping he starts the game. Dear friend, 
I have to leave you here. It's a breakfast for you. Breakfast news. I shall be back with more exclusives. Then later in the day, you receive my predicted team lineup. But for now, let me let you go. Enjoy your morning. I'll see you later when you see me. Remember, shalom and peace. Merry Christmas to you as well.